the UK and South Africa are very different countries. The cost of living in the UK is double what it is in South Africa. In regards to square mileage, South Africa is five times larger than the UK. As a quantity surveying channel, we wanted to see if there are any differences relating to our profession also. As you may have guessed, this video will be a little different from our previous videos. Most noticeably, my voice will not be the only one you hear today. This week, we welcome a very special guest, Nintendo Molloy. Here at Matrone, we provide informative, compact content on specific quantity surveying topics. Nintendo offers a unique insight into the day-to-day -day life of a quantity surveyor, as well as providing useful tips and information along the way. Her information can be found in the description below. Before we start, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button to get alerts when we upload new content. In this video, we'll be answering the following questions. What are the progressional quantity surveying job titles in the UK and South Africa? What is the average salary at each stage? How many quantity surveyors work in the UK and South Africa? What is the male-female split within this sector? How many hours on average will a QS work in both countries? What chartership options are available for quantity surveyors in the UK and South Africa? And finally, what are the most dominant contract types within each country? Titles. In the UK, the usual route starts with apprentice or trainee QS, followed by graduate or assistant QS. We would then lead on to QS, senior QS, managing QS, and finally commercial manager. In South Africa, you start off as a student QS, then graduate or intern QS. You then move to junior QS, which is then followed by intermediate quantity surveyor, then a senior QS, and finally a commercial manager. Salary. Based on information from Glassdoor, a website where employees anonymously submit their salaries, in the UK, an apprentice or trainee salary is 17,500, or 377,000 rand. An assistant or graduate would likely fetch 27,500 pounds, or 592,000 rand. A quantity surveyor would dictate 39,000 pounds, or 840,000 rand. A senior QS would request 54,000 pounds, or 1.16 million rand. A managing QS, 65,500 pounds, or 1.4 million rand. And a commercial manager would receive 71,000 pounds, or 1.5 million rand. Using Payscale, which is a South African equivalent of Glassdoor, a student QS will roughly receive 96,000 rand, or 4,480 pounds. An intern or graduate QS will earn about 175,000 rand, or 8,180 pounds. A junior QS will get about 294,000 rands or 13,700 pounds. And an intermediate quantity surveyor will receive 329,000 rands or 15,400 pounds. A senior quantity surveyor will receive 648,000 rands or 30,000 and 300 pounds. And finally, a commercial manager is likely to receive 900,000 rands or 42,000 pounds. Total number of QSs. There's a total of 47,135 quantity surveyors working in the UK, according to statistica.com. According to prnewswire.com, the total number of quantity surveyors in South Africa is about 4,539. This number only accounts for registered professionals and candidates. And since I'm not registered yet, I am not included. Male-female QS ratio. In the UK, 42,214 are male and 4,921 are female. This results in a split of 89.5% male and 10.5% female. According to Stats SA, in South Africa, the percentage split between male and female quantity surveyors is 89.3% for male and 11% for women. Average working hours. According to Career Smart, the average working hours for a quantity surveyor in the UK is 36 hours. Although from personal experience, I would say it's between 40 to 45 hours a week. The average working hours in South Africa is about 45 hours a week, according to activepayroll.com, and I can definitely attest to this. 
Charter Ship Options The main charter ship option for a quantity surveyor in the UK is the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, or RICS. Recently, the Chartered Institute of Civil Engineering Surveyors, or CICES, has become more relevant. You can find more information on both of these options in the description below. South Africa has a number of professional registration routes which quantity surveyors can take, and the two most prominent ones are the SACQSP and the RICS. Contract Types In the UK, we mainly use two contract types, JCT and NEC, with JCT being the most used at present. ACA and CIOB are also used, but to much less frequency. Four types of contracts are used in South Africa. They are the JBCC, FIDIC, GCC, and NEC. A different contract is used depending on the type of project you're working on, and the most commonly used one is the JBCC. We hope this has given you an insight into the similarities and differences between quantity surveying in the UK and South Africa. But if you feel you can add to the list, we'd love to see your comments below. Matrone a commercial hub to your business.